Wow, the futures are up 3% this morning on lighter than expected CPI numbers. So what do we need to do to make sure this breakout is not going to lead to a fake out for the next swing? Welcome to the 12 minute trading market minute for Thursday, the 10th of November. Let's make this quick. It's really simple here. This is the S&P 500 daily chart, the S&P 500 futures. So we're seeing essentially a 24 hour view of what's going on. And this is the authoritative chart for the S&P. Now, what we have here is what's called a Darvis box. A Darvis box is where we have the relative highs, the relative lows. We have about 39.25 to the upside, 3,700 to the downside. What we need to establish the next swing is the price to break above there. So while this is nice, this is a great start off of the relative lows at 37.50 for us to be up 3% today. That's a heck of a move, by the way, anyway. But it's not going to mean anything until we make new highs. This is a higher low on the daily chart. This is the former higher high. So we have higher highs, higher lows, and unless this prints a higher high, this is meaningless because the fear here is that some Fed member is going to open mouth, insert foot, and say something like, well, it doesn't really matter what the CPI is. We have our rate schedule. We're going to keep on raising rates. If they say something hawkish like that, all of this momentum is going to work itself to the downside. So again, Darvis box means that if this prints a lower high, and if we close below 3,700, we are going to be testing 3,500 in no time at all. So I would say a combination of today's early move plus maybe some dovish comments by a Fed member over the next few days would certainly help things to break above the upper range of this Darvis box, as well as getting a little bit more certainty into the election process, which right now is still wound up like a Gordian knot. If you want a little bit more detail on this, you can go down to the hourly chart and look for price structure to start to support upside movement. If we start to put in higher lows and higher highs above that, that is going to be constructive price action. Otherwise, if the opposite occurs, if this starts to fade down and then puts in lower highs and lower lows, then we can get an early read on which direction the next swing will be. Breakout or breakdown. The ball's in the market's court right now. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next Market Minute.